Good morning, Northwest. I'm Mike Gonzalez. We are tracking developing news out of North Idaho this morning where the search is on for a killer. Investigators say that this man, 35-year-old Chad Moore, shot and killed his ex-wife's husband at the Lakeview Village Apartments on North Government Way in Hayden. KXLY 4's Eric Loney is live there this morning where the manhunt continues. Good morning. We spoke to dispatchers a short time ago who told us a briefing is underway right now but couldn't give us any more details. Detectives last night told us they are receiving tips in this case as from as far as Montana, Washington, and Idaho, and they're, they're following up on those tips. They, again, are looking for this man, Chad Moore. He is five foot six, 195 pounds. Last seen leaving the Lakeview Village apartments around 3 o'clock yesterday after the shooting, he was wearing Carhartts and a camo jacket. The Kootenai County Sheriff's Office says Moore shot and killed 28-year-old Ryan Taylor yesterday afternoon. Detectives are calling it a domestic issue, but the victim's sister, Elizabeth Taylor, told KXOY late last night the suspect married her brother's ex-wife, and the suspect had a vendetta against her brother. Her brother was unarmed and trying to escape at the time of the shooting, according to her. Now, Chad Moore was last seen leaving the complex in his truck, and the search moved to the northeast of Hayden Lake after they believe they may have found Moore's truck. They searched the woods in the area with a helicopter but did not find him. Witnesses say Moore shot Taylor in the back of the head. So we walked down to the corner and we could see him pumping on the guy's chest trying to re do a CPR and stuff. But they did it long enough. You could tell it wasn't happening. So. Ryan Taylor was raced to the hospital, but he died a short time later. We want to show you Chad Moore's picture again. He is an avid outdoorsman and capable of living in the woods for a long time. Sheriff deputies tell us that he is armed and dangerous. Do not approach him if you see him or know where he is. They ask you to call 911. Reporting live in Hayden, Eric Loney, KXY4 HD News. All right, Eric, thank you so much. We'll continue to follow this story throughout the morning.